For years, we have thought the only way to treat appendicitis was to remove your appendix. Well, what if you could treat it simply with antibiotics? Health editor Dr. Maria Simbra has more on a new study that could turn everything we know about appendicitis on its head. If you had appendicitis, would you go straight to an operation, as is usually recommended, or would you try antibiotics first? I would just go with, with the non-invasive form first, and if that didn't take care of the situation, then I would definitely uh, go for the surgery. Surgery is usually a last resort, but I'm also very skeptical of antibiotics. Um, I avoid them whenever possible. I just don't like people cutting into my body, so yeah, antibiotics sounds preferable. A recent review of the available research has led to a study showing antibiotics for unruptured appendicitis can be safe. It does look like there are some people that you could try this in. The key to that, though, is that you're not excluding surgery entirely. What you're saying is we're going to try this uh, for 24 to 48 hours, and if there's any change at all, worsen at all, uh, that they go to surgery immediately. Surgeons, I think, are very open to uh, non-surgical approaches, particularly um, in patients that are older. Uh, or have other medical conditions. In fact, in Europe, treating with antibiotics first is a common approach, but not in America. And in some small European studies, it actually showed benefit to patients. However, I don't think we can extrapolate the data to our country. I would be very uncomfortable sending a patient home with antibiotics. Um, I'd much prefer them to have the definitive treatment, which is surgery. The appendix is a three-inch long worm-shaped structure that hangs off here at the beginning of the large intestine in the right lower abdomen. It can get inflamed and swollen from blockage or infection. When that happens, the thought is it has to come out before it bursts, spewing infection into your belly. The treatment differences between Europe and the United States may be related to surgical technique. In the U.S., up to 80 percent of the cases are done with small tubes and scopes through small incisions with a small complication rate of less than 3 percent. In Europe, larger incisions are the standard, which is why they're looking at other options. Of note, one in three patients who had antibiotics first went on to have surgery anyway. With rapid recovery, a day in the hospital and back to school or work in a week, it's unlikely watchful waiting on antibiotics will catch on in the U.S. To answer the question more clearly, we will need well-designed trials comparing treatments. Because up to 1 in 10 people, typically between the ages of 10 and 30, will have appendicitis, it should be easy to have enough patients to carry out such trials. Taking a new look at an old problem is always valuable. At this point, I think that the uh, data is inconclusive, uh, but thought thought-provoking. I'm Dr. Maria Simbra, KDKA TV News.